Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Tan Graham City. From Korea Board Games. So thanks to them for providing us this copy of Tan Graham City, but they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. They gave it to us because they know we like to play all, all the games. games. So Tan Graham City plays one to five players and has a box playtime of approximately 30 minutes. Um, it's a game by Uwe Rosenberg. And it is a tile placement game where you are basically just trying to be as efficient as possible. With these cool tangram shapes. Yeah, they're like weird, weirdly shaped in some cases. Some of them are, you know, shaped like a one. Some of them are like two half trying, like two little... Um, you kind of have to think tiles. outside the box with and, some of these shapes. Ah, uh, see what you did there. Because you will be trying to create as many boxes or box type shapes as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you get while I teach you all the rules. So we've got two different player board set up. Steph's is over here. Mine is over here. We have a score tracker for each of us. We each have a set of tiles and six fountain pieces. We're going to be using one of those fountain pieces each round. Every round, we are going to deal out four cards, regardless of player count. If you're playing alone, you're just going to put the four cards out in a row in front of you. The first two cards are face up, and the last two cards are face down. If you're playing with two players, each player gets one card face down in their hand. Steph's got hers over here hidden behind the box. There we go. This card will be face up, and this card will be face down. Oh, uh -huh. we're going to start. Uh -huh. We're already going to start with this, but I'm going to talk a little bit about how to play the game before we place our first piece. If you're playing with three players, each player gets one card face down in their hand. The last card is placed face up in the middle of the table. If you're playing with four players, no, you do not give each player one card. That's not how it works. The player with the start marker. Who has the start marker? Me. That's right there. So... Steph has the start marker. The player with the start marker and the player to their left, left will each receive one card face down in their hand. The other two players will share a card. And one, the last card will be placed face up in the middle of the table. If you're playing with five players, then the player with the start marker gets a card face down in their hand. The next two players get a shared card. The fourth and fifth players get a shared card. And one card goes here. Clear? If you're not sure, it is on the first portion of the rules under deal cards. I had to read it like 20 times so, when I first read it. It's this. not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> For me, it was. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean shared cards? Yeah. It's not that bad. To know that's only four cards. So, you can look at the card in your hand. That's fine. You can do that. You can look at the card you're sharing with someone. That's fine. You cannot look at the face down card or anybody else's card, unless it's a shared card, obviously. So, the cards are going to be played starting with the face up card in the middle. If there are any other face down cards in the middle, we're going to play those next. Then, we're going to start with the player with the start marker. And we're going to play Steph's card. And then we're going to go around the table, which means I'm going to play my card last. So, keep in mind there are some cards on them with exclamation marks. This card does not have an exclamation mark, which means it can pretty easily, it can be pretty easily found in your pile. If there is an exclamation mark, Make sure you've got the right tile because there are some tiles that look very, very similar to one another. So, um, after all four cards of a round have been played, you're going to take one of your fountain tiles and play it. 
Then we're going to do round scoring, where you're going to score for your largest fully built rectangle. It uh, doesn't have to be a square. It can indeed be a rectangle. So if you have a three by five rectangle, you're going to score 15 points because three times five is 15. And then before moving on to the next round, there's a little bit of housekeeping that has to take place. You're going to count the number of squares in your city that are fully red and the number of squares in your city that are fully green. And then you're going to place this little house or this little tree on the numbers where they go. You're trying to basically balance your red tiles and your green tiles. Now, keep in mind, let's say I were to place this, these tiles like so. This is a green and red tile, therefore it counts as neither red nor green. I have one red tile, I have one green tile. This half tile doesn't count for anything. I currently have one and one. Now let's say I were to place, at the end of the round, I were to place this fountain tile next to this green here. Oh, look, that does count as a full green tile because the fountain is going to mimic whatever it is placed with. So that's going to count as one fully green tile. And so I'm going to have two green and one red. That's not great because I want my green and red to be equal. If there are two fountain tiles on one square for some reason, that corresponds to neither color. Or if you have a fountain by itself, it corresponds as neither color. So keep that in mind. After you play five regular rounds, you will have placed five of your six fountains. The final round will consist of the final three cards in the deck. All three of these cards go face up and we build them in the order that we want. So there are a few rules for tile placement but there's not many. One rule is you have to place the tiles so that they are completely in squares. You can't place things weirdly diagonally. You can't place things to where they're on, where a square is on half of a square tile. You need to line everything up with the grid. However, you do not have to place things adjacent to one another. That said, you probably want to because you're going to score at the end of the round for your largest rectangular reason, region. So you probably want to go next to other tiles. Um, so I believe that is the only tile laying rule that we have to deal with. Um, can't place on other tiles. Oh, yeah. You obviously cannot place on... I cannot do something like this just because I don't like that red tile there. <laughs> um, if you can place a tile, I believe... Let's see. Do you have to place... No. Do you have to... Do, 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 do. No. It's pretty lenient. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Here's the uh, rules. Um, obviously, you cannot extend past the edge of the board. So this is a no-go. Cannot do that. When the next card has been revealed, you cannot go, oh, wait a second. This would have been a lot better. I need to move that around. Can't do that. Uh, you are allowed to refrain from placing tiles. Just set the tile aside, but you're never going to get that card. You're never going to be able to play that tile again. That's just going to be a canceled tile. At the end of the game, if you have built the full grid, not only do you score the 49 points for the full grid, you get a 15 point bonus. So also at the end of the game, look at the distance between your green and red tiles. If they are on the same spot, that's good. You're gonna get a 20 point bonus. If they are one apart, you're going to get a one or two apart. You're going to get a 10 point bonus. If they are three or four apart, you're only going to get a five point bonus. And if you have a five point disparity between green and red, you get no bonus at all. 
True. If you have the highest score, you win. If you tie for first place with others, you share the victory. There are no tiebreakers. And that is all the rules. Kimmy has a fun fact. What? Get out. In mathematics, they are called tessellating pentagons. Wow. And that she's designing a game. A tessellating pentagon games? Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. Pretty cool. I don't know these things. So, the first thing we must do is we must place this tile before we open this tile up. Uh, you're going to go ahead and just do that right off the bat. You know, you can switch sides of your board to be a different color. What? Like if you don't want I'm to. I'm going to start with green? Yeah. Oh, I don't. That doesn't matter. I don't care. Just saying. Probably doesn't matter. Probably doesn't matter. So I probably need to do the border because, man, you killed me because of that the other time, the other day. You absolutely killed me. I told you to, and you're like... Oh. It was... Well, no, I did it, and you still killed me. It's bad when when you tell me, and I still die. I still... No, but he didn't listen to me. Oh, he I heard, know. I, I listened. He heard me. I heard blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 Really? Really? Where that thing? No, this is it. And you can see it's it. You should be able to line it, match it up exactly. Boom. Mm. Booms. No, we gotta do this. No, this is bad, Stephanie's. No. Oh wait, I need to look at my card. You probably should. I probably ought to do that. Probably ought to. Probably ought to. Oh, I did forget to mention between rounds, whoever has. The, the, there's a there's a few things that have to take place, and it includes moving this start marker. Move the start marker to whoever has the highest score. But here's the catch. If multiple players have the highest score, you're going to give the start marker to the next player with the highest score in clockwise direction. This rule also applies when the previous starting player has the highest score as well. So here's the catch with two players. If I have the highest score... I'm getting that. If Steph has the highest score, she's passing it to me because she has it. Basically, there's you're basically just going to pass the start player back and forth in a two-player game. Yeah. So there's that. So let me look at this again. No! I'm so screwed. No, it's bad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No, it's Christmas colors. No, after all, mistakes were made already. Yes, <laughs> already. Yes, it's been already. One second. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, whatever you say, boss. All right, boss is doing it like this. All right, now you. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? It's a perfect match for no. what I left the hole for. Boom. Um, well, I hate this. No. Why? Why do I hate this? No, I don't. No. <laughs> I'm so shocked by this result. What, that I had a perfect setup for it in the corner? Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I am totally shocked. Like some people. I did look at my card. A little late. A little late. Michael's planning for the wild. <laughs> This is called planning for the wild. I mean, after what you did to me. What? I mean, what do you mean, what? What? Hmm. I could probably do this. Probably. All right, now do this. What's that? Oh, it's a little house thing. This. I don't really got a spot for this one. I, I did. One, two, three, four, five. One, yes, two, I three, did. Four, five. I matched. Then what? Mm. This is going to be annoying, so I'll go there. 
All right. I have three, but three is nine. Hey, guess what? Me too. Hey, guess what? You too. I take this. Mm -hmm. Correct. You are right, Sunfall. Let's go. Really? Yeah. Let's go. Already getting her corner completed. Corner. Corner. This one. What do you got? Okay. I need to see my pieces, I guess. <laughs> what he who? What do you mean? I have all of mine on display. I know, I see that. I'm just gonna plan for the wild here. Okay, cool. And me, right? Yeah. Oh, it's the wrong way. I don't want. I'm not I don't that. want these. This. What? Yep. That? Yep. Notice the exclamation point because two things can be. There are two tiles that are. Did I pick the right one? Uh, I'm. I'm trying to look. It's. They look identical to me. Yeah. I think they are. I'm not sure, but that's the one I'm going to do. Yeah. And then? And then? Guess what? It's perfect. What? It's perfect for both of us? Oh, it's not perfect for me. Oh, no. Shoot, no. Suit nuggets. Why is it not perfect? Because I have to mismatch my green and red. Oh, that's I, terrible. You do it all the time. I do it all the time. One, two, three, that's four. That's another five, thing. Like, six, it doesn't seven, matter if you mismatch eight. them. I think you should get more points if you don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look, it's eight and eight, Steph. What's wrong with that? All right, give me three times five is 15. That puts us. You also have three times five for 15. It's a tight game. Wicked tight. Wicked tight. You get this. One, two, three, four. Round three. Ding, ding, ding. No. Let me look at my card. No. Part two. So bad. Okay. Okay. This. Wow. A single pile dropped thusly. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks for following. Xeno Rave. What do I do with this? Yeah. So bad, I guess. I guess. You. You. Whoa. Where is that? That's this. I guess I'm putting this in right here, but man, I don't like where everything else goes. Oh. I mean, I like the shapes. I think the shapes are interesting and what makes the game interesting. This is the hardest piece because it's four freaking corners. Four freaking corners. It's so hard to play. Am 
Michael's gonna be like, hey, look at this. It's a four freaking corner one. Actually, I have a feeling his might be this one. I have this feeling it's this one. <laughs> No particular reason. I'm gonna have to. Which one? Oh, this. <laughs> no particular reason. All right, fool you. It's this. Thank you for watching and following along. We appreciate it. Absolutely. That is not what I wanted, Michael. No, it's not. <laughs> Did he give you the best mood award again? Yep. Hey, let's count this up. 25. What'd you get? Not that. Two, three, one, two, three. You got 18. Yep. 18. Back to up 20. Uh, two, up uh, five. There we go. I get... I get this. I don't want this. <laughs> it's not good. I need to look at my card. Now nah, I need to cry a little bit. No. Nope, 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 nope. Tiles. I need to count my stuff because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to make sure my Fung and my Shui are both good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. And then this, ready? <laughs> that's uh, <it's> true. <laughs> Blood bit. Yeah, exactly. This. Mm. Oh. This. Can't say I love it, but I do it. Can't say I love it. Can't. Okay, you. Me. This. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I should not put it there. That would be bad. The. The. Why do you gotta be this? Explain. Very poor score this time. Me too. Go there, there. That's terrible. So I guess here. Uh, I'm not going to get this border again. Wow. Really? I shouldn't. I should have done other things. Mm. 
I'm not gonna have to. I'm not gonna be able to get that. See problems in my future with the pieces that I have left. Yeah, show me your your next one. Well, that's something. Right. Am I going to be able to complete any of this with everything left? I got a little bit of that. A little bit no. of this, a little no. bit of this. No, 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 no. no. This is the worst. Yep. This. This. I don't think it matters a whole lot because I, I think that I'm... Dead on arrival. I think I'm. I think I'm just dead anyway. So I'm just gonna do that. I have to play this thing. Where do I put it? Two, three. Yeah, I gotta do this. Put it there. It's a clear winner for me. Put her there. Put her there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Clearly wrong. I'm at twenty one points. Twenty one for your thing? Yeah. That's not good, Steph. Hey, thanks. You're so positive. Six, six times five is thirty. One, two, three. One, two, three. Blah. Last three right there. First place in this. Just don't think I got a spot for that, but let's do it anyway. No. Now that's going to help. Let me look at mine. Ah! Oh, good. Get that out of the way. That's this thing, right? I might not be able to put this in. I might not should put this in there. Okay. I'm thinking, man, I just can't get those. This is like a weird one that has to go this way. I mean, that's not a great one. Pretty sure I can't fill my board. So. Me too. That's not great. That instead. I'm gonna look and see what my other options are because man. Oh, I could. No. This is a backwards piece. That's too bad. Not gonna work out for either one of us. No. Whoa. Put that up there. 
there. Boy, that's just sad. Not good enough. It's not goodish. Nope. All right, show yours. No news coming. Goodbye. Didn't know it was coming. I, I knew it was coming eventually. Then play that. It's gonna be easy. I don't play. really like it, but let me. See. What am I at here? So I'm not supposed to play it. I need to count before I place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That didn't change. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Means once all of the cards have been played. It's going to increase to 20. Two more reds. So I think that. All right. I got seven by five. Seven by five? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. I think I'm the same as I was before. Six times five. Yeah, six times five is 30. Eight, nine, oh, nine. What'd you get? Seven times five. Thirty-five. One, two, three, ninety-eight. Then we know what the last... Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I have this to place. It should not matter a great deal. It does not matter score-wise. Um, but, yeah, you know what the last three cards are. It's these three cards. Which that's going there. Whoa. I thought this was different. I need to recount. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I did it backwards. I did my I did my thing backwards. So I'm gonna play this as green. And this goes up here. One freaking spot. Yay! Good job, you. I had to turn my thing upside down. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Match. Yeah, I also match. You also match. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I'm six times six for 36. One, two, three. Six is 45. Um, You're seven times six for 42. Yep. 10, 20, 30, 41, two. 40, 41, 42, 42. We both get 20. Yep. And you win. 160 to 165. Whoa. 
I was so close to finishing it perfectly. Yeah. That's what happens, coach. Do it. If I put this piece in over here, it would have been I could have done that. But I I didn't plan that far out. Uh no, I did it I. So good game. But I intentionally was like, you know what? I'm not going to try to solve this puzzle because I think that that is the one weakness of this game's replayability is that you have perfect knowledge of the tiles. What I think would have been a better design is to take out two or three cards so you don't have perfect knowledge of what's coming out. That way, if you're counting on a tile to get released, it's not a perfectly solvable solution. Yeah, as Sunfall just said, it, there's actually six extra triangles, which are the six fountains. So if you take out one card, it could be up to six. Because there are these big sixes. Might just be two, though. So but yeah. even still, it's not perfect knowledge if you just take out even one card. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have not perfect knowledge of, yeah, of what's coming out. Right. So we did. We did a good job. I like it. I think it's pretty. Yeah. I, I like. I like the shapes. I think for me, it's a fun puzzle. Right. I mean, it, yeah, sure, it it can be solved the way it is right now, but I think it could be also fixed with house rules. Yes. Um, and I'm sure the people on the geek have probably already made up alternate rules <laughs> that's possible <laughs> like what i just did right there yeah yeah so. take out three cards done <laughs> sure so yeah that is tan Graham city from korea board games so uh, if you are a fan of uh polyomino tile laying then uh definitely worth checking out makes for an interesting spatial puzzle yes and uh, if you enjoyed that teach and playthrough, then you can find more of them on youtube.com at BoardGamerStef. Or you can come join us on Twitch every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we stream through three games every single stream. Or more. Or more. Like today. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be more. Maybe. I think it is. So come join us on Twitch, where we play oh, all the games. games. Good timing, Cosmic Pete. <laughs> <laughs> and for those on Twitch, we will be right back.